Fernando Alonso and uh, Lewis Hamilton towards the end of the race on normal racing because we had uh, red flags, didn't we? Uh, we had three red flags in total. Uh, but as it stands, Fernando Alonso went from fourth on the grid to finish third. Lewis Hamilton went from third on the grid to finish as uh, runner-up today. And Max Verstappen, who was on pole for the 22nd time in Formula One, has ended up with a victory and a first victory here at Albert Park for the two-time world champion. Well, we've heard that national anthem combination many, many times in Formula One, and Max Verstappen puts on another winner's cap and uh, collects a trophy uh, that, Jensen, you pointed out, is coveted by many, many drivers here. Yeah, it's such a beautiful trophy, isn't it? It's, uh, it's a definitely a special one. Nice one for the cabinet, and it's the first one for him, isn't it? It is the first one here. He gets a medal, of course, as every winning driver does. Michael Bradley from the Australian Automobile Association handing out the, uh, the medal and the trophy and the Sir Jack Brabham trophy for the winning constructor. Rob Marshall uh, receiving that. Uh, Sir Jackie Stewart, the Rolex ambassador. I think we'll call him multiple world champion, uh, giving out the trophies there uh, to Rob Marshall uh, from Red Bull. Uh, one of their senior uh, management, of course, the chief engineering officer. Uh, Paul Little, who takes over from Andrew Westercott as uh, CEO of the Australian Grand Prix Corporation. After 15 years, Andrew Westercott stepping down, and what a marvellous job uh, he has done. And Fernando Alonso gets the third-place trophy from Andrew Fraser, who told me the other night he is the world's biggest Fernando Alonso fan and can't wait to present him uh, with the trophy. Well, you've got your wish. <laughs> Fernando Alonso gets three podiums in a row. Max Verstappen gets his wish to spray the champagne around Albert Park. What a race Jensen Button that was. It was a race, and as you said earlier, it definitely had a bit of everything. Whether you got up early or you stayed up all night, I think it was worthwhile. Three red flags, plenty of incidents and drama right down to the last, and the three world champions sharing the podium. Max Verstappen, now 15 points clear, in the Drivers' World Championship.